One of the biggest questions that I get asked on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, and also on my super peer mentorship calls is if I had to start learning UX design now, what would I do? And I am super happy to be able to answer this question today. As many of you guys know, I am currently working as a UX design lead and I am completely self-taught in UX design. Before I was in this field, I transitioned from a background in computer science and I was previously a software developer. I've also talked about this journey a couple times on my channel before. But if you had to ask me now, like current me, present me, if I wanted to learn UX design, what would I do? I think after all of the research I did, something that caught my eye was the Google UX design professional certificate. Now today I was fortunate enough to be able to review it and give you my opinions as a UX design lead. To give you a quick overview, this course is 100% online and you don't need any previous experience in order to take the course. Then once you're done, you get a shareable certificate that you can add to your CV, your resume, and even add to your LinkedIn profile. So with this course, it isn't one giant like behemoth that you need to conquer all by yourself, but it is actually broken up into seven mini course series that you can take your time and plan and schedule around your life. The first one is Foundations in User Experience Design. So I have the course open in front of me now, and this first course is Foundations in User Experience Design. And this is where it starts and gives you an overview of what UX design is, what kind of companies hire UX designers, and what kind of UX design rules out there. So like a lot of online courses, this course is delivered in primarily videos and online readings. And I found that in the videos, they spoke really slowly, which is great if English isn't your first language or it's not a language that you're comfortable learning in. I personally found it to be really slow, but I was very grateful that they gave you an option to just two times speed it so you can get through it rather quickly. Another thing that I really liked that I had never really seen before on other like learning platforms is that underneath each video, Video, there is also a transcript of the entire video for you to read and scan through. And what I liked about this is that you can even click on a certain passage in the transcript and it'll jump you to that section of the video. I thought that was really neat and as someone who learns better through reading than I do through listening to videos, I found that to be really helpful. In the course, there is also a summary, glossary, feedback surveys, self-reflections, and discussions you can do with other people who are taking the course, and quizzes. Now this first course, Foundations in UX Design, is the shortest course of the seven, and I think it gives you a really good introduction to UX and what you can expect from this course. I think if you had to compare it to like a university course or something, it's basically your very first class where the professor goes over the syllabus. It's really nicely laid out for you, and it kind of gives you like an idea on whether or not this actually sounds like interesting and something that you want to pursue. I also really liked how they asked you to relate UX to things that you have noticed in your own experience and in your own life because I think that's a really great way to learn about UX and it's a good start to understanding why empathy is so important in this field. Now I also really appreciate this course talking about UX design jobs and the different types of companies that hire UX designers. It gives you a really early introduction to what generalists are, specialists, and T-shaped designers, and it helps you kind of have an idea about what your goals are for this path and what suits you and your personality a bit more. I don't have too much to say otherwise when it comes to this section because I think a lot of this information is very high level, very UX 101, and I would even say that you can see, find a lot of this information on YouTube if you have done your search before. Like everything from day in the life videos, which I to do a lot of and also UX 101 videos that you can find online. So I'm actually just more curious to see what other kind of content they have and how it's delivered in the next course, which is starting the UX design process, empathize, define, and ideate. In the next section, you'll start thinking about UX design using real world scenarios provided to you through a series of prompts from the course itself. So Google really likes to take a very user centered approach when it comes to design. Obviously they have been very successful at it. And with this certification, you also really tend to concentrate on this. What I love about the course is that you get to really focus on empathy at the very beginning. And usually when you're working on real world scenario projects and just working in a company, those things kind of end up getting forgotten when you're in like the whole business kind of mindset. So I really appreciate how the course talks about empathy right at the beginning. There's a lot of detail about user research and how to define the problem in these earlier sections. And it's arguably one of the most difficult parts of being a UX designer, not only understanding what it is you need to do in order to solve a problem, but also finding the right problem to solve to begin with. 
And while this is a lot of content, keep in mind that this is a beginner and self-paced course. So the recommendation is that this course takes about six months to complete if you're working at 10 hours per week. So if you're brand new to UX, you can definitely take more time if that's what you need. Or if you are someone with a graphic design background or maybe a web design background, you might be able to go a bit faster and it really depends on how you want to pace it for yourself. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this course was all of the different examples, scenarios, and guidance when it came to teaching you about UX research. It also includes exercises like empathy maps, personas, identifying pain points, and developing user stories. All of these are very important when you are starting out learning UX design. And you'll also be able to learn how to conduct user interviews and usability testing. What I really liked seeing was a section completely dedicated to accessibility, which is something that I don't see very often on UX case studies from junior designers as a UX design lead. So having that portion about accessibility makes me really excited to see what kind of case studies and portfolios come out of graduates of this course. This course gives you the opportunity to learn and apply all of the design knowledge that you're getting taught directly into a UX portfolio that can help you find a UX design job. At the end of the course, you'll be tasked to create a portfolio with three end-to-end -end case studies showing how you follow the design process, everything from the initial UX research, wireframing prototypes, designing UI, and running usability tests. You'll also get a chance to learn about Figma and Adobe XD. Another really great thing about this course is that there is a section to help you prepare for jobs. Everything from how to set up and optimize your LinkedIn to building out your portfolio, networking, finding a mentor, and creating a separate Behance account so you can showcase more of your UI design skills. For my final thoughts, I think it gives a really bare bones and good understanding about what UX design is and can help you decide on whether this is the right place for you to be. And just like with any online course, your success really depends on how you use the information that you learned. This course would not be enough for you to find a UX design job if it was all that you do and there's still a lot of work afterwards that you would need to put in, whether it's networking, improving on your case studies, finding real life projects to take part in and start working as a freelancer, and just really improving your UI design skills. But I also think that even if UX design isn't for you, this is still a really good course to take because there really isn't like a disadvantage to learning how to empathize with users. But to answer the question that I proposed in the very beginning of this video on what I would do if I had to learn UX design now, I would definitely take this course and I would do it with a mentor. At every stage of the the course or after every week that I finish, I would love to go and talk about it with a mentor and get their real life experiences so that I can have a better understanding or like a more well-rounded understanding of what that particular section means and what it looks like in the real world. I would also spend a lot of time practicing my UI design skills, networking and going to events and trying to get more experience interacting with UX designers so that I can learn from their experience. If you are interested, you can sign up for a seven day free trial and the link is in my description below. This brings us to the end of the video and I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!